Are you in the club? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Kaylee, and today I am opening up the super crazy loom. With this loom, we can make phone cases, cuff bracelets, and banners. Let's go ahead and take it out of the box and check it out. And here is everything that comes with the Crazy Loom Kit. Okay, so I'm going to start off with making a cuff bracelet, but I'm going to use one of the patterns down here. I think I'm going to use this one. It kind of reminds me of Rainbow Dash. <laughs> the first step is to set up the Super Loom so the pegs look like an upside down U. Next, I'll place two bands on each of the top row of pegs. The next step is to add the connector bands. These are the clear bands. So starting with the second row, we'll stretch these across and then keep going all the way down. This part is so that when we take the design off the loom, it will stick together. So now it's time to start picking the bands. We'll use this little hook, loop around, and when you're on the bottom row, you want to make sure to go inside this clear connector band. Pick this up and pull it all the way over the next one. And then you just keep on going all the way up the row. So now the next one is the green. And I'll pick the two green bands up going inside the clear connector and looping back up to the next. One way that you know you're doing it right is that all the little bands should look like upside down teardrops. Okay, so now the entire loom is loaded up and I've picked each one to look like an upside down raindrop, but I'm a little worried I did something funky right here because this one doesn't look like a raindrop. So that one might not turn out, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so now I'm going to lock this design in place, and this is kind of the tricky part. I've already done this with three of the rows here. As you can see, there's a little knot on each end. So essentially what we're gonna do is create a slip knot. Okay, so the way that you do that is you're gonna have on the very top row two dangling bands on each hook here. So grab onto those two bands one at a time, like that, and then we're just going to go in with our hook, grab onto those two bands from the other side, loop them over the peg, and with the ones that you're holding, bring those over the two bands on your hook, and then grab the two bands that are on the hook them off the hook and then just keep on pulling and that will create a knot. Here is a closer shot. So I'm going to come over here and pull these two dangling bands and on the other side of these same bands I'm going to go through, hang on to them with my hook, pull them over the peg with the ones I'm holding on to. I'm pulling these over and onto the hook, then grab the two that are on the hook, pull them off, and keep pulling to create that knot. Okay, so once these are locked into place, it's time to carefully take the design off of the loom, and this will complete the first section of our bracelet, or the first half. Now, I've never done this before, so I'm really nervous to take this off, but I'm just gonna use the loom 
and kind of just start pulling it off and working towards the center. I really hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> Okay, and look you guys, it turned out right. I'm so excited that this actually worked. <laughs> so now the first half of our bracelet is done and we're going to make another one just like this. And we're gonna do a special step for the connector bands. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna go ahead and start laying out the pattern just like I did before. like I am completely out of blue rubber bands so unfortunately it doesn't come with quite enough blue rubber bands to finish this pattern but what I'm gonna do is use white rubber bands instead so hopefully what I'm thinking is that it'll just look like clouds maybe and it'll be kind of a funky pattern so let's see how this turns out Okay, now comes the part where we put the connector bands on again. So I'm going to go ahead and loop these around. Starting with the second row and going all the way down and skipping the very last row. Okay, so when you get to the very last row, you just slip on the connector from your finished part of the bracelet and just Put that on the very last row so that when we finish our design, it'll be connected to the other half. Okay, so I finished my design. They're all teardrop shaped and I locked it into place. So now I'm going to start pulling this piece off. Okay, I pulled the design off and connected both sides with some S-clips and the bracelet is all done. I even really like how the white piece came out. It does look like clouds. These S-clips are included in the kit as well. And this kit also includes a hexagonal loom. You can make these fun chevron bracelets with it. So if you guys would like to see me make one of these bracelets, just click on the thumbs up. And be sure to leave me a comment and let me know if you have any tips or tricks for making crazy loom bracelets. This is Kaylee for DCTC, and thanks for watching. Another video, that's the end. Come back soon or we'll miss you, friend. DCTC. We do toy reviews. DCTC. And we play with Play-Doh, too. Skits, pranks, eggs and toys. We make videos for girls and boys. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's right. <laughs>